Hi, good morning, everyone. Good morning, travel agents. I'm so happy to see you once again in our virtual roundtable. As you know, today we're going to talk about the Melilla Puerto Vallarta. Melilla Puerto Vallarta is located, obviously, in Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. I'm so excited because this is the first round table, virtual roundtable that we're making with an open hotel. We opened Melilla Puerto Vallarta two weeks ago, as you know, and the hotel is ready to receive all your clients in this beautiful destination that actually was named as the most safety destination in Mexico. So today, as you know, guys, we have our general manager of the property and as well, we have our safety and well-being ambassador, Annette. Annette is our general manager from Melia Puerto Vallarta. She has been working in the prop in Melia Hotels International for six years. She was before she started uh, with Melia Hotels International in Paradisus Playa del Carmen. And then she moved two years ago to Melia Puerto Vallarta as a general manager. And as well, we have Jose Luis Cantu here in, a, in our uh, virtual round table. He's our safety and well-being ambassador. He's the person in charge to follow and to guarantee all the procedures and measures that the hotel is doing based on of our stay safe with Melia protocol with all these COVID situation. So today, I'm so excited to have these uh, persons here with us. I'm so excited for you guys to meet Annette, which is our general manager. And as well, I'm so excited to present this hotel that is already open, as I mentioned before. So Annette and Jose Luis, welcome. Welcome aboard. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our seminar. We're very excited uh, to have the opportunity to share uh, beautiful and very good information about Puerto Vallarta and the Melia Puerto Vallarta with all of you. And uh, in order to have a, a nice start of the morning, we invite you to a quick trip. So I just ask you now to quickly close your eyes. And then once we hear the music, we open the eyes again, and then you will see that you were transported to Puerto Vallarta. Go ahead, Rodolfo. Thank you, Rodolfo. Well, in this video, we had a very nice aerial view uh, from the Melia Puerto Vallarta, and that's actually that you can see from the plane because we are so close uh, to the airport. So that's what you see right before you arrive or maybe when you depart. Well, uh, let's go uh, into the destination a little bit more. As uh, most of you will know, Puerto Vallarta is located on the Mexico's west coast. Uh, we are situated in the state of Jalisco, which is the state known for uh, tequila and, and, and mariachi. And indeed, that's what you will be enjoying once you visit Puerto Vallarta, or once you send your clients to, to our destination. Um, the Melia Puerto Vallarta itself is located in the marina area. It uh, has a very good uh, location. We are uh, only uh, five minutes drive from Puerto Vallarta's International Airport, but also the marina is close to the mountains. It's, called, it's also very close to the cruise port, and it's only 20 minutes from Puerto Vallarta colonial downtown. In this picture, uh, we see the hotel uh, again. It's uh, made up of three buildings with a total of uh, 324 rooms. So it's a relatively uh, small hotel where we can provide a, a very personalized service and it's also a property with a lot of uh, greenery. It's, there is a lot of 
space to walk around. We have fountains, we have a big pool. And I suggest we go to the next picture in order to uh, learn a little bit more about uh, this uh, fine resort where we uh, enjoy uh, good weather uh, year around. These are the, the points of the agenda for today. And I think we can jump to the, to the next slide here. Go ahead, Rodolfo. Well, once we, uh, once we uh, arrive uh, at the hotel, we enter in our main lobby, which is uh, very spacious. And uh, this area characterizes the, the, the entire hotel. There's really space for everybody. And uh, even with the hotel at uh, full capacity, you won't feel it uh, like this. Especially at the moment when we are recently opened, uh, there is even uh, more space. Uh, as you may know, Puerto Vallarta uh, reactivated its tourism uh, two weeks ago, uh, a little bit more actually three weeks ago, but uh, Puerto Vallarta, Amelia Puerto Vallarta opened its doors uh, two weeks ago, and we are now operating at only a 25% capacity. That's the maximum capacity allowed by local government. Um, there are many uh, attributes or, or key selling points of our uh, resorts, uh, and uh, one of them is definitely the, the nice beach facility. We have uh, 200 meters or 6 to 150 feet of, of beach, which is uh, almost a, a private beach. As you, you, you may know, beaches are actually bad federal. There are no real private beaches in the, in the country. However, there's almost no public uh, access to the beaches in the marina area. So that means that the beaches are very quiet. We have a second level of, of private beach on the property, and that's where this picture was, was made. It, uh, it, from this beach, we have beautiful sights over the uh, entire bay, which is called the, the Banderas Bay, which is one of the largest bays uh, in, in the world, actually. Here we have a nice overview of our pool. Our pool um, is very nice for, for children uh, and adults. It's, it, it's large enough so you, you can combine uh, relaxing with maybe a, a volleyball game or just do your exercise and, and, and keep yourself fit. At the moment, um, we um, have, uh, with the operation of uh, a limited capacity, we have also uh, changed a little bit the, the layout of the pool. And that means that there is a, a one meter and a half space between the, the lounge chairs. We, we, we can have families together with a maximum uh, of, of six people per group. And then between that group, one family and the other family, there is always one meter and a half to two meters uh, distance in order to maintain the social distance that is required by uh, local government and also by our own program, stay safe with Melia. So we keep everybody safe. Um, room wise, uh, we have uh, different uh, room categories. Uh, this is our standard room the, with the garden view. Rooms are, are, are very spacious and they have two double beds or wing one king size bed. All rooms have a balcony and all rooms have a nice view. Uh, we have rooms with ocean view, but if you don't have that full ocean view or ocean front room, you overlook beautiful gardens or our lake. It's a very relaxing view. This is actually an example of our ocean view rooms and especially those guests that visit us from, from Canada and from the US and in particular the colder areas. They just enjoy starting their day early in the morning. Uh, in in wintertime, um, we have our sunrise at 7.30. So a little bit before 7.30, our guests are already on the balcony. They, they enjoy their coffee and that's where, how they spend the, the morning. And then they will go down to the beach. They will spend time in the pool. And uh, we have daylight in wintertime until 6 p.m. And especially if you come down, if you go to Puerto Vallarta, you come from that, those cold countries like Canada, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for sunny days. And that's what you will enjoy at Amelia Puerto Vallarta. 
Here we have uh, another example of our premium rooms that are a little bit more spacious. And we also have uh, suites, we have premium suites. And this is actually a very nice category. This is uh, called Kids and Co. And this category is ideal for families. Here we uh, can accommodate uh, two adults and four children. So that's nice when you have a larger family, you can be all together. And the experience starts actually right after check-in that we do in our uh, lounge. Uh, children, they receive the, the main attention, I would say here, uh, when you book this room. So they have received special gifts up on, uh, up on arrival. Um, and also throughout the stay, we have different surprises for them. So we always, uh, we keep them uh, very happy. And as you know, when children are happy, mom and dad or the parents are happy uh, as well. So that's the Kids and Co category. And yes, here we have uh, our, our junior suite, which has uh, two units actually. So we have the, the, the bathroom and then next to it, a nice uh, sitting or, or dining area and a huge balcony. If, uh, if you book this room, you may even not go downstairs. This is the place where you want to be. And then the utmost category would be our uh, governor suite. And that's the suite that we will see then here on the, on the next slide, where we have a living room, a dining room. And uh, this is a, a beautiful facility because it's on the top floor, it's on the ninth floor. And from here, you have just uh, an amazing view over Puerto Vallarta, over the bay, but also the mountains. And, and that's so nice about Puerto Vallarta. We are surrounded by green mountains. So it's not only the ocean, it, it's just a spectacle, but you just look around and you're 360 degrees. There's always something nice to see. And uh, yes, uh, gastronomy is also an important um, ingredient of your stay in particular, particular when you uh, book an all-inclusive hotel, just as we are, Emilia Porto Vallarta is an all-inclusive resort. And uh, we offer uh, different dining uh, options. Here we see our Vitalis or our Italian specialty restaurants. Um, guests make reservations for this restaurant and they enjoy a uh, very nice uh, Italian food here. We also have, and that we will see on the next picture, our uh, Mexican specialty restaurant. It's called Azulejos. This restaurant is uh, open air. And this is the place where you can uh, enjoy authentic Mexican cuisine in the evening as well. This is also a restaurant that you will uh, book in the morning hours through our uh, special reservations desk. And uh, for uh, both breakfast and then dining, we will see on uh, this next picture our Quetzal restaurant, which was actually recently uh, refurbished. Um, you can either uh, opt for uh, inside uh, or outside. The restaurant has two beautiful terraces, and this is the place where we uh, offer uh, buffet breakfast and also buffet dinner. In the evening, we uh, do different uh, themes, so there is always something different to choose from. And for lunchtime, we offer La Palapa restaurant, which is also an open air restaurant located right next to the field pool and this is where we have a combination of an international fair but definitely also Mexican uh, specialties are available here including seafood Uh, especially in, in, in winter time, we uh, also do uh, theme nights, and that's when we offer dining options on the on the terrace, which with with ocean view. This is a very romantic setting, and this is something that our guests uh, enjoy a lot. So, as you can see, there are different options for for, for dining, and uh, that's what makes the the stay very very pleasant uh, in, indeed. Uh, for those uh, families that uh, bring children, we uh, definitely uh, keep them uh, keep them busy. We have a, a very nice uh, kids club, um, and um, activities take place throughout the day. We also have a baby club, and actually, we are very one of the very few hotels in the destination that offers a baby club. 
so uh, families are, are free to register their children. At the moment, uh, with uh, the special uh, measures uh, regarding uh, Stay Safe with Melia, we continue offering children's activities. And also entertainment uh, is, is, has not stopped. Every evening we have a different show uh, in our theater, which is actually an, uh, a semi-open air uh, theater. It's, it's placed or it's situated in a big thatched roof, uh, Palapa, and uh, that uh, guarantees that you always uh, feel at peace. And every night there is a different show going on. And that uh, caters towards both uh, adults, but also children. Very nice, well done. And uh, we have our own dancers actually here on the property. For those of you who, uh, who wish to, to relax, uh, we have our geo wellness spa. Uh, we have uh, indoor treatments, but uh, I would definitely go for such a nice uh, outdoor uh, massage. Actually, in the place where we are sitting now, this is the place where we normally have the massage tables. That's where we're offering a, a relaxing or a, or a sports massage. We also have the um, the Turkish bath, so it's a, it, it makes your stay complete. And I would say it's like a finishing touch of your stay when you you can do something like this. Uh, romance, I would say, this say Puerto Vallarta romance is automatically a part of the of that experience. Um, in our case, we have a very nice jetty, as you can see from the picture, where we can uh, do the, the different uh, events and where we have the celebrations. Normally, a couple gets married here on the jetty and then in one of the gardens or at the terraces, we uh, continue the party. And even we can even offer the beach itself for a very nice event, a very nice cocktail. We have our own romance department, which is part of the, the Melia brand. Actually. We are very good in doing that. And uh, we, we work with the, the, the travel agency or with the, the bride and the groom starting from the first moment. So we really take care of everything. And um, uh, as we are located on the West Coast, you can coordinate that your celebration takes place at the sunset. And uh, it's just uh, amazing what you what the experience will be for the couple, but also for the for the participants. Um, groups, uh, we do that as well. We have very nice uh, meeting facilities. Um, this is an, uh, I, if we give you an idea of the, the meeting rooms that we, we offer, we can have a group up to uh, 400 people or 200 rooms. That would be the, the, the maximum, depending of course on the, on the time of the, here again, we have a very professional groups and conventions department. So we take care uh, from everything from A to Z. Uh, everything is, is, is taken care of. And uh, then again, it's important to know that besides the indoor facilities, the meeting rooms, we have different options for outdoor events as well. It can be the garden, it can be the beach, but it's not really necessary to, to leave the property. Now, when this is an, it would be an incentive group, there is enough to do in the destination. There is actually plenty to do. You can go uh, with a fishing trip. You can do a nice sailing tour. You can do the zip lines. We have different natural parks. You can go downtown. It's a cultural park. It's Mexico, cooking classes. It's a very nice destination. It's four groups, and it's also so authentic. And yes, here we are back. This is the Emilio Porto Vallarta. This is the place that I'm very proud of, that I love, that I love to represent. I think it's, it's both a combination of Melia and uh, having the opportunity to represent such a, a Mexican destination and also knowing that I have uh, such a strong team behind me in order to make sure that uh, all the, the, the travelers that visit us have a wonderful experience here at the Melia Port Thank you. Awesome, awesome Annette. <laughs> awesome. Really nice. I love the property, guys. Look this. Look this image of the property. You know, if you know, if you're familiar with Puerto Vallarta, Puerto Vallarta, as you may know, is a really Mexican town. So Melia Puerto Vallarta have the flavor of that Mexican town that Puerto Vallarta 
have to offer to, to all the clients. And look this amazing picture, look this amazing picture, how the hotel is surrounded by nature, by the beach, the beach is swimmable. Look how, many, how much extension of sand you have or your clients will have one day stay in Puerto Vallarta. The amazing pool that the property have, as Annette mentioned, it's not a big hotel, it's a really nice size hotel. So the people and the clients will really enjoy the facilities and the areas of the property. And believe me, the gastronomy on this property, guys, is amazing. So thank you so much, Annette. Thank you so much, Jose Luis. Right now, I'm going to stop to present my, my screen, Annette. And we're going to go and read all the questions that the Travel Aid has been putting on the chat box. So let yes, me go yes. and start to... Oh, wait. Let me go and start to um, uh, read the questions of our travel agents. Oh, we have many people here on the, on the, on the event. So I'm so happy to see that. So <clears throat> I have the first question here, Annette. They're asking us if the buffet is still working as a buffet restaurant or something changed because of all the COVID protocol measures that were implementing in the hotel. That there is a very good question. And when we uh, opened the first days with very low occupancies, and I would say an occupancy of five to 10 or 15%, we um, suspended the buffet service, but now we are at 20, 25%. We do the buffet service again, but it's an assisted buffet. So that means that we have a display of the different food items, but our kitchen staff help the guests and we, uh, we serve the food. So it's an assisted buffet. And that's very nice for families. It, uh, it creates a lot of uh, flexibility and uh, you can uh, make your own combinations, of course, with the different uh, uh, food items that we have uh, available on the buffet. And we do that for breakfast, for lunch, and also for dinner. Perfect. Amazing. So we have another question regarding as well the restaurant. Uh, we show the Italian restaurant and it looks like yeah. everything is inside restaurant do the italian restaurant have an outside option for the people to uh have the dinner outside like in an open terrace or it's just inside restaurant uh, at the moment uh, we have um but with, with, with Dallas restaurant it's normally it's, it's inside the service that we offer but uh, we now use the azulejos terrace also for outside or outdoor uh an outdoor Italian food experience. And then the Azulejos experience has been moved to La Palapa. That's something that we will do actually when we will be at higher occupancies. At the moment, uh, we operate a Quetzal restaurant uh, for dinner and that's the only place open. But especially the North American market that will start uh, or reactivate in the upcoming months when they come back, they will see that we have Vitrales for uh, indoor and outdoor dining, and then we also have, have the Quetzal restaurant uh, available. Perfect. The Quetzal, uh, the Vitrales restaurant is, is the only real indoor place uh, at the moment. And it's so nice to have terraces available all around the place. Amazing. Yeah, for sure. And right now with all the restrictions that some of the restaurants have, I believe that Puerto Vallarta do not have that problem because as Annette mentioned, we have many uh, terras in our property. So the clients and uh, the clients and our, yeah, our customer can have the dinner lunch at the terrace and we are setting up those terras to, to bring the service to our clients. So I believe it will be any problem. So Annette, talking about the rooms, uh, we have a few questions about the rooms. The first question that we have is that if all the rooms have a pool or ocean view, um, not all the rooms have ocean ocean view. Uh, we have garden view rooms and we have ocean view rooms and also ocean front rooms. And uh, according to the views, you will find uh, the room types in our reservation system. Awesome. And in terms of the uh, Kids & Co, uh, an agent is asking us that you mentioned that that kind of a room allows two adults and four kids or two kids? children two adults and four children yeah because we have the bunk bed as well yeah oh perfect so in each of the bunk beds you can sleep two kids right yeah that perfect. has been a part of the success of this category because there are not that many hotels in the destination that uh, accept that uh, room capacity 
Awesome. So I believe that, Annette, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that you're the only option and maybe one of the few options in the destination that you can allow six people in one room, right? One of the fewer. I, I won't say we are the only option, but uh, the, we are not the only option, but it's, we are definitely a, a hotel that offers this and not all the hotels in the destination have this uh, offer. So take notes, uh, agents, of that, because if you have a booking of a large family, two adults, the mom, dad, and then four kids, Puerto Vallarta is, is the option. Puerto Vallarta is the option for your booking. So going back as well to the uh, rooms. Uh, oh, no, sorry. This is the, the wedding location. They're asking if the SP gun that we saw in the picture that you set up the wedding, it is included on the wedding package that you purchase or you have to rent separately that setup or that uh, is venue, let's say like that? Well, the, the area can be used, but then there will be an extra charge for the different uh, furniture that you, will be, uh, you, that you will be using. We have some basic furniture, but in general, the, 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 for the weddings, uh, special equipment is required. So that has to be rented, but the area can be used with the jetty or the Espigon is ours. It's, okay, so the SPGO doesn't have an extra charge if you if you already have a wedding package, correct? The SPGO is in the package. The space can be used, and then of course, depending on the package that package that is bought, uh, there, there may be a rental for for the furniture. Yes. Right. So we have another question here: Is that uh, if we have a golf course nearby the property, and if we do, if we have any agreement with that golf course? Uh, yes, uh, actually, we have a golf course walking distance from the resort. It's the Marina Golf Course. And there are also uh, golf courses in Nuevo Vallarta that are uh, very close from the, from, the, from the resort. So if you stay here and you wish to play, you are a golfer, then you, can have, you have different options. But the closest one is only a three-minute walk from the Melia Puerto Vallarta. Awesome, awesome. And they can make the reservation for the tea time with our concierge people, right? Or they have to yes, walk Definitely, definitely. And we now also have our virtual concierge and uh, also the information will be found uh, on, the, on the app that we are launching uh, in, the, in the month of August. Perfect. And talking about sports and, and knowing that in particular, the Canadian market is uh, much into to pickleball, uh, I, I would like to uh, mention as well that uh, during winter time we transform our two tennis courts into pickleball courts, and uh, that has been a big hit uh, during the last year. So, for those of you in Canada that have uh, passengers that like playing pickleball, that's what we offer here at the Melia Puerto Vallarta as well. Amazing! So amazing, amazing. So, guys, as I mentioned before in the in the beginning of our presentation. Puerto Vallarta is already open. Melia Puerto Vallarta is an open hotel that right now we're opening the hotel with uh, clients and with occupants. It's around 20, 25% daily. So, Annette, can you explain a little bit more because you just mentioned our virtual concierge. What is that, a virtual concierge? The virtual concierge is a concept um, that allows the guests to communicate with our staff uh, on a cell phone. So when you need something, you, you write, and then our staff will take care of it. And it's not necessary to go to uh, a guest services desk. And uh, this is something that we uh, implemented in order to maintain that social distance and also to make it easier for our guests not to have to walk, to stand up, just with the comfort of your cell phone. You can contact our staff, and then we will take care of, uh, of your request. Awesome. So that's awesome. So that is a measure that we take in our hotel for the social distancing that Annette just mentioned. Uh, I have another question here that you mentioned in the beginning of your presentation. Annette, how far is the hotel from the airport? The hotel is only a five minute drive from the airport. And that's so nice. Uh, when you had to wake up early in the morning. You had to wait in line at the airport. You were on the flight. You get off the flight and then in five minutes, you enter in the lobby of Melia Puerto Vallarta, your check-in, and then you're ready to start your vacation. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. That's, the, that's the goal. That's the target of Melia yeah. Puerto Vallarta. 
Yes, and also the marina, of course, it's a, it, it's a nice area to walk around, uh, especially in winter time. We have uh, every Thursday night a nice market. It, it's, it's such a nice ambience. Many of our guests, they actually don't want to leave. They're just so happy on the property. But if you like to do something else, you will find your entertainment within walking distance from the property. Perfect. Uh, the next question that I have, Annette, is from uh, Smith. Lee Dean Smith, our travel agent, he's asking if we have a cigar bar lounge on property. I didn't, uh, if, I, I'm not sure if I got the question, if we have a special lounge? Yeah, cigar, cigar bar, cigar, cigar, cigar. you know, a smoking, uh, cigar. Uh, uh, no, Udo. we don't have that, no. Cigar bar. No, so we don't oh, have. A, a, no, I, I, no, I, I, no. We do not really. We do not have a cigar bar on the property. Actually, it's it, it's a good question because the hotel is 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 smoke free. However, in the entrance, in the motor lobby, we have a separate area where guests can smoke their cigarettes or their cigars. But inside the hotel, we do not promote uh, smoking at all. Also, knowing that we have so many families around, so really. Uh, we, uh, if we aim to have a, a very uh, healthy environment in that uh, aspect. But if you want to smoke, you can do it just in front of the motor lobby and you're still on the property. So you're not secluded from the, from the hotel. Perfect. Perfect. Um, so the next question that I have here, in terms of the shows that we present in the, in the presentation, the night shows, on the theater, people, uh, the agencies are asking me if we have to make reservation to enjoy the show or just walk, walking or walk through. Um, the theater is, is so big that it's not necessary to make a reservation. There is always enough space. Even now with limited capacity, because just as we um, have limited room capacity, also in the restaurants and the theater, we have limited capacity. But even under those circumstances, there is more than enough space and there are more than enough chairs as well. So don't worry about that. You can have an easy dinner, you relax, and then you just walk over to the theater and you continue enjoying. Awesome. And it's a show, every night is a different show, right? Yes, every night we have a different show and um, we also have entertainment in our lobby bar. So typically uh, you, you have a nice dinner, you enjoy that, you go to the show, you, you, you disconnect, and then you go upstairs and you have a nice drink in our lobby bar. Awesome. So regarding the kids club, uh, they are asking that you mentioned something about baby club. What do you mean baby club? They're asking the age that we accept the babies and which uh, activities or events we have in that baby club with the babies. We have the baby club available for babies or little children starting of four months old until four years old. And uh, they can stay in the club with uh, trained uh, supervisors or staff uh, during the day and uh, we take care of them. Food uh, and, and drinks, that's what they uh, do with, with their parents, but uh, all the activities and also a nice nap, they, uh, they have that in the, in the baby club. And that gives the opportunity, of course, for their, their parents to, to enjoy, to relax, and maybe to have a nice massage uh, at our spa. Amazing, of course, for sure. I'm in. <laughs> and Baby Club is part of the all-inclusive, right, Annette? Yes, there's no additional cost. Uh, the, 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 the parents check in their children in, in, in the morning hours, and we take care of the rest. And that's part of the all-inclusive uh, package just as the activities for the older children as well we keep them happy we, we keep them active we have a climbing wall we have a place where they play baseball we have a basketball court we also have a mini mini golf which is nice for both children and their parents and we do a lot of uh, activities as well and we also try to blend in the Mexican culture with those activities. So some of the art crafts they make are really related to the, to the Mexican culture. Amazing. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Because always when you're traveling, as you know, traveling, when you're traveling, it's good to get to know a little bit of the culture of the destination or country. 
easy. So that's the amazing. children, they have something to talk about when they uh, go back to school. For sure. So here we have another question, Annette, that I believe is a really good question. Uh, agent, so, some agents are asking how our clients are acting or receiving all the protocols, the uh, safety protocols that we're implementing in the hotel. How our clients are reacting of all these new procedures or protocols that we have implemented in the yeah. hotel? Yeah. That's a very interesting question. And uh, I would like to invite uh, my colleague, Jose Luis, to answer that question. Of course, we both have the experience, but Jose Luis, as our Stay uh, Safe Ambassador, has the first-hand information. Go ahead, Jose Luis, please. Thank you, Mrs. Anet. Uh, well, thank you everyone for joining us in this presentation. And uh, well, I, let me introduce myself. My name is Jose Luis Cantu, and I'm the Safety and Welding Ambassador in uh, Melilla Puerto Vallarta, which is a new role that, uh, as Rodolfo said at the beginning, I'm in charge of um, a guarantee that the, all the protocols are uh, uh, applying correctly in the resort. We have a um, <clears throat> Stay Safe with Melia program, which uh, is a uh, amount of uh, measures that we need to take in uh, order to uh, maintain uh, your safety and uh, uh, well, everybody's safety, our, our, our employees and our customers. So regarding to your question, um, our, we have different measures like uh, to maintain the social distancing in every place, uh, limited capacity in our areas. Uh, we have uh, some uh, new signage, uh, for example, these marks that we have on our floors, so we can maintain the, uh, the, the social distancing required by the government of Jalisco uh, between one and a half meters to two meters uh, in each, uh, for, between each person and different other, other uh, signage. So one of the uh, measures uh, implemented by the uh, government of Jalisco is wearing the mask. It is now mandatory wearing our mask uh, when we're walking uh, from one area to another. And uh, so we have all this signage in our property. And the people are reacting uh, very well, I can say. Uh, they, are, they know uh, these, all these measures uh, are, are very different. It's a, it's a different experience from our past uh, or, or their past uh, experiences in uh, this hotel or other hotels, uh, but they know these measures are implemented for uh, keep our safety and others. So I, I, they understand, uh, they, um, they, um, they accept these measures and uh, they are they're enjoying, I think. So uh, besides uh, how strict uh, these measures are, they really enjoy our stay because we, uh, we, not, we are not only applying measures and uh, protocols, we are ensuring that they are enjoying their stay with our activities. We still have some activities. Uh, they, they are being... Uh, they were, they were uh, re redesigned uh, so we can guarantee the social distancing, but they can still uh, do yoga in the morning, uh, aqua stretching in the, uh, in, in the pool. Uh, we still have some activities for kids in the kids club. And uh, uh, you, you, can be, uh, you can be sure that uh, we will take care of you. We will take care of you for uh, uh, experience and you will take care of your safety while you're uh, staying with us or your clients, of course. Perfect. Amazing. Awesome. So as you know, guys, we have been talking uh, in the past in all other webinars that we have with you guys and our uh, coffee talks and things like that about the Stay Safe with Melia protocol. Right now, as you know as well, uh, we already have two hotels opened in Mexico, which is Melia Puerto Vallarta and as well Paradiso Playa del Carmen. So with Jose Luis aboard in this uh, virtual webinar, you can see that we really are following all the steps and procedures and measures that the Stay Safe with Media Protocol indicate in each one of our hotels. 
We have our ambassador as Jose Luis in each one of our hotels. Well, right now, just in two because the other one's still closed. But we will have those ambassadors in the property. So the, the most important thing for Media Hotels International is to bring the safety and security to our clients and as well to our employees. Because at the end of the day, our employees have to be uh, healthy to serve to our clients. So thank you so much, Jose Luis, for the amazing explanation that you just gave to us. It's really good that we can that we can get to know that our clients are receiving all this measure in a good, good way and understanding that it's for their own safety. So thank you so much, uh, Jose Luis, for that information. We're going to continue with uh, 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 with question that we have. Adam, do we have any question in the chat box in the Facebook Live? Okay. Uh, well, I posted a couple earlier, but um, there was one about the one of the agents is asking that they heard prior that there was a slight undertow in the ocean. Is that a correct fact or is that not a correct factor? Uh, regarding the condition of the, the ocean, as uh, I would say every beach destination, uh, you, you have to be careful when you, you swim. Our beach is definitely a swimmable, swimmable beach, but it also depends on, on the tide. So there can be an undertow, but it's a little further away. And also important to know that we have our uh, lifeguard uh, supervising and, and checking on the guests, uh, both in the pool and on the beach. But Thank our you. beach is definitely a swimmable beach, and it's a very nice beach. And we also have um, it's, uh, the area uh, separated. We have the sign, so we indicate, we, we show the guests where they should be swimming. And, and talking about swimming and the ocean, we also offer water sports. You can use the paddle boards and also the kayaks. And that gives you the opportunity to see, for example, uh, turtles. Uh, you, you may see a whale, you may see the dolphins. Uh, and, and of course, the in, in particular in, in, in the winter season. So it brings you very close to know the nature. Thank you. Thank you, Annette. Um, I do have a two comments uh they, they said they're talking about the rooms that you have lovely looking rooms i mean all the agents were enjoying the pictures of the rooms and one of them said that they actually were in puerto vallarta before they never stayed at a hotel but uh, they hear that the tradition of the um, authentic food of mexico is right there in puerto vallarta and i'm sure in your restaurants you have the same very authentic is that correct annette Yes, that's correct. Uh, Puerto Vallarta is well known because of its uh, gastronomy, the, the, the wide variety of food options that we offer as a destination. And that's also something that is also reflected in our, in our cuisine. When we uh, do the theme nights at Katzel Restaurant, we have, uh, for example, Mexican night, we have Tex-Mex, we have Italian food, we have Asian food, we have Mexican night. But uh, again, Mexico has always a, a very strong pres presence in our uh, in our gastronomy on a, on a hotel level. Thank you so much. And uh, another one said something about the assist. They like the idea of the assisted buffet as well. By the way, because uh, we know we know right now with this uh, COVID nineteen procedures, you don't want the guests handling the food. So the assisted is a great idea when they would help serve yeah. you when in the buffet. You know. That's correct. Yeah, and it has uh, worked out very well. Yes, and the guests enjoy it, and uh, you, 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 it's even easier to, to handle your, your your dishes, of course. Exactly. All right. Thank you. That's all I have, Rodolfo. Thank you very much. Awesome, Adam. So we have another question here in it in our chat box. Uh, Leticia Barroso is asking. Leticia is a really. Uh, she's always in, our, in all our uh, events. Thank you, Leticia, for all your support. Thank you so much. Anything you need, you know that we're here for you. Uh, Leticia Barros is asking, does the hotel have an extra mask to offer to the clients in, in case that the clients lose their own mask? The mask is used by all the staff members and also guests are uh, requested to use the face mask, like this one, uh, mm -hmm. in all public areas. But do we offer masks to the clients if they lose their own mask? Do we have extra oh, masks to offer to yeah. the clients? Yeah, if they lose it, there, there is no problem. Actually, upon check-in, each guest receives a safety kit. So they, they receive the mask, but they also receive a pair of gloves 
and they also receive a little bottle of hand gel. So that's uh, uh, what we give upon check-in to each member of the family. And then if they lose the mask at the front desk, we can provide a new one, of course, because in this case, uh, safety is our priority and it's the priority of everybody. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you so much, Annette. So let me see if I have any question here. Well, I have a comment that is a, of a travel aid that say that he was in Media Puerto Vallarta last week and he really enjoyed the service, the food, uh, the hotel, the location of the hotel. He's mentioned that the location is awesome because it's really close for everything as well. It's really close from the Malecon area, which is the downtown of Puerto Vallarta. And he said, or he's mentioning that it was so easy for him to take a cab or to take a local bus to move from the hotel to the, all the attractions of Puerto Vallarta. And yes, the, the, the property itself is really well located, guys. It's, it's in a really nice high-end neighborhood area, which is La Marina of Puerto Vallarta. And it's really easy to take the local bus. It's really easy to take a cab to go to the Malecon or to go to enjoy the Puerto Vallarta, which is a really nice Mexican town. So yes, that's that's uh, true, and thank you for your comment. Uh, and the food, believe me, the food, if you really want to experience a Mexican, a real Mexican food, our restaurants and our buffets in the property are amazing. They they make a really nice job in terms of food, of Mexican food on the property. I really love that property, and I really love the food of the restaurants. So that's all, Annette. That's the last question that we have in our chat box. Thank you so much, travel ladies, once again for your support. Thank you so much for keep in tone in all our events. I please recommend you to keep uh, a, well stay stay connect, keep connect with us because as you know we're doing a lot of more events during the week. Right now we start as a company we start to reopen our hotel, so we're gonna announce the opening for the next hotel. The next one is the one that we have in Los Cabos. Paradiso Los Cabos is gonna be our next opening hotel. So stay connected with us, uh, keep participating in all our events because we're still giving a lot of information. And once the hotels are open, we're gonna give more information and we're gonna, it's gonna be more like uh, uh, live information as you can see Annette and Jose Luis that now they are in the hotel, the hotel is open and we can talk with a person that they are already implementing all the uh, measures and all the procedures of our protocol. So it will be easy for you to understand all this new normal in our hotel. So thank you so much once again for your participation. Annette, Jose Luis, thank you so much for your time. I know that it's really hard for you on your agendas to make this little space for us because right now you're operating a hotel with a lot of new uh, procedures. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all the amazing information, Annette, that you share with us as well, Jose Luis. This is really helpful for our clients and for our travel agents to book our hotel. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, Melia Pro. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.